we're just going to start from top mount, okay? Um, this has a lot of good elements for an armbar, and then we'll play the different positions from here. So, if I want an armbar from top mount, first of all, I cannot be sitting up. Well, I mean, I guess I can be sitting up, but if I want the spinning armbar from top mount, I cannot be sitting up. I need him to extend these arms. And we'll just look at the basic version right now, but I need him to extend these arms. If I'm sitting back and he extends his arms, there's no reason for him to extend his arms, right? So, I like to be here. And this, this makes him kind of uncomfortable. How are you doing there? Sweet. Okay. <laughs> here, you get a person, more of an untrained person, right? They want to push you away. They're uncomfortable. And that's what we're looking for. Yes, we want him to push us away. Now, I mean, I'm heavy. I maintain the pressure. Because when he pushes me up, if I come back, do you have a reason to keep your arms up anymore? No. No. Right? But if there's still pressure, yeah, there we go. Yuck. Right? So, I'm going to go over top of the arm I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack this arm. So I'm going to go over top. I'm going to make a diamond. Go over top. Put all my weight on the chest. Now I'm going to push so that my hips come up. Okay? And I'm going to open this hip up. Now, I want you to notice that you can see the bottom of my foot. <clears throat> I've opened my hip up. My hip, my leg is almost laying parallel with him, right? I am not, as commonly misunderstood, I am not putting my foot up flat on the floor. Okay, I need to have it here. So almost my thigh is laying on him now. Once I have that, I keep that pressure on, because I need to keep the pressure on. So if I sit on him here, well, that just takes us to a different place where you can still get an armor. But I want to make sure I keep that pressure, open that up, and I'm just going to creep this leg around so that my thigh is occupying his tricep. You see that? My mm -hmm. thigh is occupying his tricep. Now... I'm going to hold on tight that arm. Keep it hugged tight to me. Love this arm. It's a good arm. <laughs> right? And I'm going to sit down. I want to keep this attached. I do not want to lay back and leave the arm in space and then try to pull like an emergency brake on a rail cart. Right? That'll hurt, that'll hurt your partner. Instead, I keep it hugged tight to me. Sit up. So I'll pull the arm up. Pinch the knees. And I just lay back. Okay, so we want to keep it tight. We want to pull it because his, one of his defenses, he's got to pull this arm in. Oh yeah, I lost control of the tricep, right? So how do I stop him from doing that? I pull up on the arm. Now he goes to pull his elbow down. It's harder for him. And now as I just lean back, knees need to come together. Hips need to come up. Okay. Knees come together. Hips come up. Makes it look a little fulcrum. Okay. So, on top, arms extend. I go over top of the one I want to attack. Okay. I lift the pressure up so I can get my butt up off of them. I open up the hip, creep the leg around so that my, my uh, inner thigh is on a tricep. And notice I try to sit. Okay. It's a big common mistake. People will get here, and it'll just fall. <laughs> really common. How many times have you seen that? How many students have you ever worked with? Uh, right? Including us. I right? do. So think about sitting. Slide down them. Don't be in a rush to get your back on the ground. Okay? The reason I want you guys to creep this is so you don't kick your partner in the face. Okay? I know everybody here, it's so you know, fun. The, the role with us, you know, you've seen us come here and just go, whoop, and hit the armbar. That comes with time. That comes with a lot of time of me creeping that foot around so I know the exact pathway my foot travels so I don't kick him in the face. You understand? Yes. Tucker, 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 tucker. Tucker, 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 tucker. Can we just start with this one? Yep. Yes. All right. If this Im if this arm bar is not your jam, that's okay, because we're gonna do different arm bars, okay? Different setups. If you're like, man, my hips don't work like that, then what you can do for right now, start in the arm bar position, right? Get nice and close, and practice this part, so you get comfortable with this, okay? And if you're doing this part, one of the things I suggest you do is try to get your crotch or your thigh as close to 
his tricep as possible. So when I get here, I scoot in. Okay? You can go over the north leg, or you can go over the south leg. A lot of people said traditional method, people say go over the south leg. I've trained with guys who go over the north leg. Pick a leg. Play the book. Can we try this? Any questions? No? Yes, sir. Hands important, right? Which way the hand faces? Oh, good detail. Good job. All right. So, when I get here, okay, I want to make sure I pull in whatever is the opposite direction of his thumb. Okay, so wherever his thumb points, that tells me which direction to pull. If his thumb points that way, then I need to pull here. If he turns his thumb that way, I need to pull here. If his thumb goes that way, hopefully I'm wearing a cup, because I need to pull there. You know? But that's one of the nice things. We can also kind of help turn the hand. Right? We can help turn the wrist a little bit. Let's go in the direction we want. All right, so always go in the direction of the hammer fist, or think go the, the opposite direction of the thumb. Think about the, think about the thumb. The thumb points to their escape. So take them in the opposite way. Does that make sense? They're pointing their way out the door. Lead them back in the room. All right. All right, let's do it. Go. <laughs>